Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today we're going to be talking about uh, this little uh, encoder. It's about the size of a deck of cards. It's made by uh, Yuan Tech, and uh, it's capable of streaming H.264, uh, um, as well as doing RTSP uh, and a couple of other uh, network protocols. Uh, it has an SDI uh, input on it, so we'll hook up our, uh, our SDI camera. Uh, it's also got uh, optional HDMI. Uh, so we can have either SDI or HDMI inputs. It's also got a 3.5 mil uh, input on it, so we could bring in stereo audio that way. It has Wi-Fi, so we can connect it to uh, the Wi-Fi network, or we can do wired application via Ethernet. And last and most importantly, uh, it's got power, uh, which has a nice uh, screw locking mechanism. So let's take a look at what this looks like uh, in the web browser side of things so that we can see how to configure the software and uh, how to make it uh, start streaming. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open our IP Finder application. This is a handy little application which searches the network for any attached encoders. Uh, you can select which network uh, you want to have it look at and then click scan and it'll go out and find uh, any devices. So we have a device uh, attached at .125 and to access it, we just double click it and it will open a window. And we have several groupings of controls for the encoder uh, accessed via the browser. And uh, this first group is the video source. Uh, this unit only has SDI and HDMI on it, but there are other units uh, that have composite, S-video, component, VGA, DVI, et cetera. Um, in this case, we're using the SDI input. And then for audio source, you have a choice of embedded uh, RCA and um, the 3.5 mil jack. This unit doesn't have the RCA on it, but some units do. And then the next group of controls lets us uh, set which kind of stream we're gonna do. And the first kind of stream we're gonna do is an RTSP stream. So we click RTSP and then just scroll down to submit. And then after submitting, uh, it gives us our uh, URLs. So I'm gonna just copy this URL. I'm gonna take this into vMix and show you how you can connect over a network. Um, right underneath the NDI input is the stream input. We can just click that, uh, enter the RTSP stream, and very quickly we get the stream that's uh, attached to the encoder. So this is what I call poor man's NDI. It's a, a really inexpensive way of turning SDI or HDMI into a network stream that we can get uh, into vMix. And then the next uh, input that I wanna try is um, RTMP Publish. RTMP Publish is good for um, Facebook or uh, YouTube, Ustream, and we have a number of different uh, tabs that we can populate with. It can stream to up to four destinations simultaneously. So to do this, I'm gonna go to my um, Facebook page and click start a live video. But instead of using the local camera, I'm going to click the connect option. And connect will give us um, a server URL and stream key. And then we go in here and we replace that information. just pasting it in there and we're ready to go. So I'm going to hit submit here and it's going to begin uh, communicating with Facebook. So after a few seconds, uh, Facebook will start to see that stream connect. And here we have now, we're directly connected from the encoder uh, to Facebook. So again, this is a really easy way of getting your SDI uh, or HDMI stream very inexpensively to Facebook. And then the last kind of connection is uh, MPEG-TS. So MPEG-TS is a common format to use within uh, uh, a network. Um, for certain reasons, uh, it's advantageous. And for this, I'm going to use um, VLC. So I'm gonna open up VLC Media Player and 
I'm going to open a network stream. I'm just going to copy the URL that it gives me here over to here and click play. And very quickly, it's going to connect to that MPEG TS stream. And we again, we have a, a real time stream from the encoding box over a local area network or any other kind of method that we want to use. So the last segments that I want to address are um, these controls down here, we can adjust things like brightness, contrast, saturation, uh, the frames per second uh, that we want to output, um, the bit rate, uh, if we want to resize uh, the image, um, we can also adjust different kinds of um, levels of H.264 encoding. We can crop, and we also have a mainstream and a substream option, so we can stream out two different levels simultaneously. And all of those, um, are accessible just by hitting submit and it sends this information from the browser over to the encoder. So if you have any further questions, please check us out at usbroadcast.co or check out our Facebook page or please feel free to reach out to me at eric at usbroadcast.co. Thanks again.